So the process of breast enhancement um, consultation is actually quite extensive. It's not just about the size that they want to be, although that's kind of the first thing that patients focus on. I want to be kind of that size, that cup. But there's actually a lot to discuss and often this consultation, I take an ex quite a long time with my patients. And often my rooms uh, are complaining that I run over time a little bit because I actually I give the patients a lot of time to go through all of these details. I think for me, the first uh, important point in terms of discussing breast enhancement is safety. So the first thing we focus on is what is a safe thing to do? Which implants are safe? There's actually a significant implant controversy happening right now uh, and a number of, large number of implants have been uh, scrapped from the market because of safety concerns. Uh, so it's important that your surgeon is aware of that, knows what's going on, knows what is safe to use and what not to use, what are the risks, can they deal with the issues if a problem arises? That's actually the first thing to discuss. Once we've discussed the safety profiles and what, the, what are the risks that a patient is comfortable with, then we can move over to other aspects, the technical aspects of the breast augmentation procedure itself. How is the technique of the surgery is done? What are the risks associated with that? Then, what kind of implants can we actually put in? What are your expectations? And often patients will bring an image that they research the like, I kind of want to look like that. I think I'm a bit like that and I want to look like that. It doesn't always match what I see in front of me. So it's my job to, to guide the patient along their journey from what they think they need to perhaps a more realistic expectations of what they can have. You know, there are plenty of surgeons out there that will do exactly what the patient wants. You want this? Okay, we'll just pop that in. These are the patients that I end up seeing for revisions because the vast majority of them are not happy because they really haven't had a proper consultation to explain to them what, why and how. It's important for us as surgeons to take some responsibility for this and to guide the patient, to inform them, to make the right decision for them, not for me. My view of aesthetics and their view of aesthetics may be very different. So I'm not here to impose that on them. I'm here to go along with what they're after, but to do that in a safe way and in a way that's going to achieve the best results. Uh, we will discuss sizes, we will discuss uh, chest dimensions, the, uh, any deformities of the chest of their appear, because that, that's also important. Uh, you know, we will discuss the profile, the height, all of these other things that come up, the texture, uh, what the implants are made of. So all of these things will come up in our discussion. But the size is actually probably one of the last things that we will discuss. Uh, because once we've covered everything else, the size sort of falls into its own niche uh, by itself almost. Uh, patients come around to understanding, well, this is actually what I want. I thought I wanted a fake look, but actually I like the natural look. And you know, if I want a natural look, probably this is gonna look really nice on me rather than this picture which looks a bit unrealistic. That's just one example. It could be the other way. They could have started it natural and actually they want a fake look. But again, this is the process that we kind of tease that out and we get there and we actually see whether that's technically feasible as well. And that's a big factor of it. They may want it, but is it technically feasible to actually achieve that? We are pretty good at our surgery and we can do many things. Not everything is how it is possible or should be done. And you know, if patient is, ask, is asking for something extreme, you know, that's not something that I'm very comfortable with, for instance. So I would be having a very long, thorough discussion with this patient and maybe uh, even asking for some adjunct consultations to make sure that the patient doesn't have a body dysmorphia problem or something like that, because there are a number of those patients around who are shopping around for cosmetic surgery. So that's, I think, my process succinctly, but it does take quite a while to tease all that out and that's why my consultations take a while.